back to Keeping Up With Christy. I'm Christy, and today is a special day because, well, you see we have a different scene here. Uh, we are at my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law's house, Neil's mom and dad's, and um, we are spending the day here together with some of our family. Neil's brother and his family are gonna come, and um, we're gonna be celebrating a birthday. And so my niece, Lila, is gonna be joining me, and they actually have a YouTube channel. It's called Sawyer in the Middle. I'm gonna link it down below in the description so you can go check them out. And they like to travel and hang out as a family, go on all kinds of adventures. And over on their channel, they show you what all they like to do together as a family. So make sure you go over and check them out. Lala's gonna join me here in Nana's kitchen and we're gonna put together a cake for the birthday girl. So let me show you real quick what we have because this cake is perfect for the summertime. You don't have to crank up the oven. There's just mixing and assembling required. And I think it's an awesome cake for a little one. So our birthday girl is turning three. And so we're gonna have a cute little cake that she can enjoy. So come closer, Abby, and let me show everybody what we got. So what we're gonna need is some milk to mix with our two boxes of chocolate pudding. You can make this with vanilla or chocolate. I even thought pistachio might be fun with a little green, but we're gonna do all chocolate. And you're gonna need um, a half of a stick, quarter of a cup of butter, a whole eight ounces of uh, cream cheese, and then you're gonna need a cup of powdered sugar. And all of these things get mixed up together to make the creamy, yummy, chocolatey base. And then you're gonna need a package of Oreos, and I used the family size pack. And before I left home, I threw them in the food processor and we chopped them up really good and fine. The white cream just disappears when you do that. And it all just looks like dirt. So if you haven't guessed it yet, we are making dirt cake. I don't know if I said that at the beginning or not. So just make sure you add that in. So for our uh, decorations for our dirt cake, we have a couple of packs of gummy worms which are cute decorations, but also just fun to eat. And I picked up at the Dollar Tree some just little plain flowers here. We're gonna cut them off uh, shorter on the stem and make sure that we wash the stem really well because we're gonna stick them in the cake. So the recipe calls for you to make it in a nine by 13 casserole dish and we have that, we're gonna do that. But I also found this over at the Dollar Tree and I thought this would be really cute. So a package of four for a dollar and I was trying to think of something that was like um, a flower pot to put the cake into and then I found these and I thought, oh, that would be so cute. They're pink, which is perfect for the little girl. And they're just got the scalloped edge. They were called ice cream balls and they come with four little spoons. And so I just thought for the littlest ones that we have here, uh, wouldn't that be sweet, especially for the birthday girl, for her to have her own little cup of dirt cake made and we'll decorate it with some flowers and some little gummy worms coming out. And I just thought that would be sweet. So Lila is gonna join me next and we're gonna get started and show you how we make the dirt cake. So here we go. All right, so here we are. We got Lila with us. Say hey, Lila. Hi. My sweet little niece. And um, we are gonna start the cake for the birthday party today. All right, so Lila, I'm gonna let you do the work. All right, because whenever I film with Neil, Uncle Neil always has to do all the work, so I'm just gonna let you do all the work today. All right, so first thing you're gonna start with is two boxes of chocolate pudding mix. So you open one, I'll open one, and we're gonna get those poured into this bowl to mix. There you go, open, yeah, open it over the bowl. And then we don't drop anything off. Yeah, there you go. We like chocolate, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So does Cammy. So does Cammy. So she, that's a good pick. I asked Lila, I was like, can we do chocolate? A chocolate dirt cake? And she said, yeah, Cammy loves chocolate. So it's Cammy's birthday, so we're gonna do that for her. All right, we're gonna use a whole block of cream cheese. Pull that off of the package. There you go, yeah. work on them hand mixers? Mm -hmm. You're professional? Okay. We're in good hands. Lala's learned it at home. So we're gonna let her do it. 
What's your favorite part about coming to Nanny's and spending time here at the lake? Um, well, baking and swimming in the lake. Yeah, we all love to swim in the lake, and Nanny's always really good about letting us get in the kitchen and help. All the grandkids get to help. My girls grew up doing that too, and now you get to do that. I'm gonna start putting in three cups of milk while it's creaming all that in together. Abby, come get a close look. She's creaming all that together. All mixed up now we're going to add in some cool whip and the recipe calls for 12 ounces and this is 16 ounces so we're going to put most of this in here still a little bit frozen and then it says fold it in because you want to try to keep it fluffy dirt which is our cookie mixture okay mm -hmm. you want to grab mm -hmm. yeah grab some of that and stick your spoonful in there yum all right we're gonna put some more dirt on top okay get some more <laughs> <laughs> it's thick here I might can help Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> Makes the dream work. There we go. Hold on. There we have it. <laughs> sure. It's going to be underneath the dirt. It'll be fine. I think we can do that. Yeah. Lolly, you're my kind of cook. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Smell. <sighs> It smells so good. It's just that good fruity fake worm smell. There you go. Grab you some worm out of there. And stick him in there. And we're going to stick a flower in there. Won't that be cute? Look at there. Nanny wants to see. <laughs> Look at there. With our little worm peeking out. Y'all think that's good? I think that's adorable. Yeah, we're gonna make some more. We're gonna stick. Early, but okay. No, she's got her shoe. She was hiding it. <laughs> okay, flowers. Plant our flowers in our garden. And our little dirt cake. The flowers were washed before we stick them in our cake. It's a cute little way to make a little cake for the little one's birthday. This might even be cute on Mama's Day. Y'all can make me one of these on Mama's Daniel. I see you back there. There's Neil. Okay. <laughs> what do we think, Lala? Does that make the cut? Is it good? <laughs> good. Your turn. Right. In a little bit, we're going to come back and show you how we make our low country bowl outside in a big old pot to feed this whole crazy crowd. Every single Gilbert. <laughs> Yay. All right, we'll be back. Is that good? <laughs> Y'all are loud. <laughs> so. so out at the lake, we love to do all the fun things, the kayaking, swimming, fishing, 
that's my husband in the water fishing with a fishing pole. And of course you have to have splash contest and he had to prove he still got it. He can cut a flip into the water. So we are doing a low country bowl. So we've got our potatoes, sausage, kielbasas. Uh, we got about six pounds of shrimp. We got 24 corn on the cobs and got a big old pot of bowling water here on the side of the grill. And of course, I'm gonna use my Zatarain's crab bowl. So baby, will you open that? I got you. And let's get this put in there. Got the sausages, this is just kielbasa sausage. And I cut it, you know, bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna get that poured in. That helps flavor everything, but also it's just really good to eat. And pour it all in. I have four 12 ounce packages for that. And then the potatoes, we had some that were like red potatoes. We washed them and quartered them. And then we have some of these little baby yellow golds, which we really like. Those are my favorite. Yep. Yeah. All right, you ready? Ready. Toss them in. Oh, oh. hey man. Well, what am I, oh! Once it comes back up to a bowl, then they're gonna bowl for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we'll be ready for the next batch of stuff. To <laughs> All right, next we've had our, um, our sausage and our potatoes have been cooking for over two minutes now. So we're gonna get our corn in the cob in there. And I just buy this big, huge 24 corn on the cobs in the pack. And, and we're just gonna throw them in. They're still frozen. That's so my job. Pop them in there. We're gonna throw these in. As y'all see, we had to bring the pot in. The, the uh, grill just did not get it hot enough, so we brought it to the stove. Plus, it's really hot outside. Yes. So it's just nicer to be in the air condition and finish up the meal. And we also have a small pot going here with some more. It's the exact same stuff that's in it. We just have a lot going. Put all these in there? Yeah. So we're feeding a lot of people. This recipe, I'll link it down below that I found, but um, it's the basic recipe we always use, and it is supposed to be 15 adult servings. And we have 14 total here for our party, but some of them are little kids. So I know we're gonna have leftovers, but I always would rather have too much than not enough. So. This is always better than they say to me. Yeah, so. yeah, it's fine as leftovers. All right, I got all the corn in, so we are good to go. Yeah, we're gonna go another 10 minutes with the corn in, and then it'll be time for the shrimp, and then it's gonna be time to eat. Raw shrimp, it is peeled, easy peel and deveined. We're using two pound bags of the jumbo shrimp. Nice big ones. So we're gonna toss this in now. So we have it all poured out now here on top of the bar. Just throw down some full and got it all out. And we have a big pot of, or a bowl of, uh, just French bread we cut up and we're gonna have butter on the side. Baby, you work today. Listen, y'all a lot of work. Take care of all y'all, make sure y'all get fed. Are y'all appreciative? Y'all move. A little whiff of that. A little whiff of that, a waff. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. We're very happy about it. We're going to eat it now. So thank y'all for joining us. I'm keeping up with Christy. Don't forget to go check out Sawyer in the Middle. And that's Neil's Brothers family channel. And they do some great stuff over there. So make Especially sure you Especially if you love and, Disney and things like that. They have yeah, great videos. All about. kinds of great stuff. And if you head over there, make sure that you tell them in your comments that Keeping Up With Christy sent you. And uh, they'll look forward to hearing from you. All right, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a like. And leave us a comment. Bye, y'all. Bye. Let's eat.